Let's change text and images in a Photoshop template. So the first thing you wanna do whenever you open a template is just familiarize yourself with the layers. That's everything down here in the layers panel in the bottom right. You'll see individual layers. You'll also see these folders, which are groups of layers. You can click the drop down on any of these to see what's actually in them. And I would just go through and like turn these off and on, get a feel for where things are, cause that'll help you later on when you're trying to find the specific things you want to edit. So this layer photo here is nicely named. If you click the drop down here and you can see it consists of a filter, the image and a block. The image right here, if you turn it off and on, you can see that's affecting the, the part we want to replace. So if you have this layer selected, go ahead and just drag in any new image that you want in the template and you can size it up. I'm using shift and option and dragging from the corners to size it. That looks good. And so now you have a new photo in there. You can turn this other photo off. You can delete it, whatever you want to do. Now to change text, you're going to hit T on your keyboard as a shortcut. That's going to bring up the type tool right here. So the nice thing about the type tool is you don't have to have the specific text layer selected that you want to change. You can actually hover over any layer and anything on the document. It's going to change the cursor from having this dotted line box around it to just having the cursor itself. So when I hover over end of third, we want to change the quarter. For example, you can just click anywhere with the type tool selected. It's going to jump to editing that layer in the layers panel. And now we can type in end of first. And let's say we want to change the score. I'm just going to click on these numbers and delete. Let's say it's five to three. Good work, Philly. So that's how you change text. If you ever see like any warnings or, or anything weird, Photoshop yelling at you in the layers panel or otherwise, it's probably because you don't have the font downloaded. So make sure you have the correct font downloaded. The template should tell you the font it wants up here in the top left corner whenever you click on one. So something to keep in mind. The last thing you might deal with with a Photoshop template is a smart object. So smart objects are cool for a lot of reasons. One reason is they can act as a placeholder for any image. And what a smart object is, it's basically a clickable layer that when you double click it, it will open up in a separate document. So it's kind of like a file within a file. Right here, we have this background layer, which is clearly affecting the background. This B logo for the breeze, let's say we wanted to change this template to a different team. You can see the B is set up as a smart object. It's got this little box icon in the bottom right corner of the layer image. See, not all the layers have that. That indicates a smart object. So we can double click this layer See how it opens up in a separate document? You have this B logo, you still have the original template. Now, if you edit anything within the smart object and then you hit save, it's gonna take effect in the original template. So if we wanna change this logo, I've dragged in a hustle logo for an example. So we just turn the breeze layer off, turn the hustle layer on. I'm gonna hit Command S to save this smart object and then hit Command W and see how it takes effect in the top left corner there. Those are the basics on swapping out images and text in your Photoshop template. Let me know if you have any questions. We could get into a lot more detail, but I figured I'd keep this video short.